This is question number 20 of exercise 5.1 from the chapter continuity and differentiability. The question is, is the function defined by fx equal to x square minus sine x plus 5 is continuous at x is equal to pi. Okay, so we have to check the continuity of this function at x is equal to pi. So for this we take the given function and we calculate the value of this function when x is equal to pi. So this would be equal to on placing x is equal to pi for the value of this function I'm going to get pi square minus sine pi plus 5 sine pi we know that it is equal to sine of 180 degree sine of 180 degree is equal to 0 so this value would be equal to pi square plus 5 okay and uh, limit of x tends to pi for fx would be equal to limit of x tends to pi for x square minus sine x plus 5 now to solve the value of this lim uh, limit that is limit of x tends to pi of x square minus sin x plus 5 we are going to use the method which is recommended in your NCRT book okay so for that what I'm going to do I'm going to place x is equal to pi plus h okay and uh, if x tends to pi then h is going to tend to 0 because if you are going to place x is equal to pi so you are going to get pi is equal to pi plus h pi and pi cancel out so you are going to get h is equal to 0 so this means that when x is going to become very close to pi then h is going to tend to 0 so we can write that limit of x tends to pi of fx is equal to limit of h tends to 0 of in instead of x I am going to write pi plus h so I am going to get pi plus h whole square minus sine of pi plus h plus 5 okay and uh, this would be equal to limit of h tends to 0 of pi plus h whole square minus limit of h tends to 0 of sine of pi plus h plus limit of h tends to 0 of 5 okay so on applying the limit to the first value I can write pi plus 0 whole square and here I'm going to expand sine of pi plus h so sine of a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b so I'm going to get this as equal to sine pi cos h plus cos pi sin h and limit of h tends to 0 of 5 would be of 5 would be equal to 5 okay now this is going to become pi square and on applying the limits I'm going to get sine pi cos of 0 minus cos pi sine of 0 plus 5 now because sine pi is equal to 0 and sine 0 is equal to 0 so this both value are going to become 0 and this would be equal to pi square minus 0 plus 5 that is limit of x tends to pi of fx is equal to pi square plus 5 so therefore we get the limit of x tends to pi of fx is equal to f of pi that is the value of the function when x is equal to pi therefore f is continuous at x is equal to pi which is the required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you